Good morning, everyone. This is my uh, senior capstone proposal, and my topic is on a fight against cringe culture. So a quick overview of me is that uh, my name is Amanda Joy Markham, and I graduated last spring from Leeward Community College, earning my associates in animation and motion graphics. I graduated from Lillehua High School as a cum laude, and I'm currently trying to earn my bachelor's uh, in the creative media field with my concentration in video game design. For this presentation, we're just going to go have a quick overview of my plans for my senior capstone project, the state of my thesis, the objective of my research that I conducted, and addressing the significance of my project for my research. So for my thesis statement, uh, crunch culture has continuously been the coexisting norm of what is believed to be the only way of making a successful video game. However, is the video game worth the physical and mental health of the employers and for the industry to continuously exploit any passion these guys may have had for people to just buy their games. My objective here is that crunch culture is a reoccurring issue that has yet to be resolved and is a career I'm planning on working towards. And I hope by spreading more awareness on this issue, more action can be taken in creating a more sustainable work life towards people who actually want to create video games that isn't at the extent of a person's well-being. To follow up on that, um, I plan to do my senior capstone as a project by making a video comparison of industries that make gains through crunch and without crunch, showing comparisons from work environments to the quality of their end products, the profits they gain, and the amount of returning co-workers. And this all relates to my topic because it goes about explaining why crunch culture is unsustainable in a way that can be seen objectively through hard data, no biases, and how we can go about helping this cause despite not being game developers ourselves. So what are the significance? Well, the significance to this is that depending on our state of health, it can actually effectively direct our creativity. And according to psychologist and art therapist, Dr. Kaffi confirmed that being creative increases our health, which really contradicts against current culture because it does total opposite. That, that's why if we were to get rid of that in future implications, workers would be not only much happier and much healthier, but they would be able to become more creative in driving the companies and making more money and better quality games on times. Another significant is that by expanding the co-worker's passion instead of constricting it based on Karen's International is a critical part in ensuring the game production within the industry remains fresh, which can't be done if crunch culture is running the business. So if we were to make changes to that and future implications, prioritizing the employee's creativity will not only greatly help the workers in maintaining motivation to do their work the best way they possibly can. But it also stays true to the work, why people love video games in the first place. And then this is some hard data I gathered. It's just to show the different applications of different crunches that uh, co-workers had to endure throughout the years and to see if there was any improvement or any changes throughout the years. So over 50% were basically involved in this type of work are involved in some sort of crunch time. And then another 44%, which is pretty close to 5%, have worked very long hours, but aren't really considered crunch. And then another over 50% were expected to work at 60, 90 a week. And then throughout those three years recently, crunch was basically expected within the industry and hasn't really improved. And it's probably, if anything, actually kind of gotten worse. So my target audience towards this uh, are those who are interested in pursuing a future in the gaming industry to know of the conditions they should be expecting if they plan to pursue this career. And it's also targeted towards um, the consumers, in other words, the gamers, to be more understanding that create a game is not an easy process. Through this project, it'll help them to become more understanding and patient the next time a game gets launched. My audience is also targeted towards the business side of the gaming industry to understand that crunch culture isn't the way to create a good video game if it means the workers have to be enslaved to the work and be constricted by to creativity, which runs good video games in the first place. 
So what's the intellectual significance to my members or disciplines and committee? And how does this solve the problem? So this is significant because it takes advantage of people's lives, passions, and it exports people's current lives, living lives, personal lives, passions, health. The fact that crunch culture goes against the very reason that people want to make video games or love video games in the first place is pretty ironic. So I believe that by educating everyone on the nature and severity of the culture will help everybody to understand that the state of people's health is a reflection of his, of their creativity and is shown for the quality of their games. So I believe by educating everyone on this issue, it will give people who aren't part of the game community a reason to help support and band together in fighting against this issue and solve the issue in maintaining the health of their employees. The way I plan to proceed for this process, spread out my points and information on what I'm going to cover by draw out my storyboard, focus on which topics I'm going to touch on first, and then create a template, how I'd like the video to work. And then after that, I'm going to start actually grabbing footage or B-roll of what I need to complete this project. And from this stage, a production stage of the video, at this point, I'll actually start interviewing people or grabbing other podcasts, recent podcasts of people discussing the work of different video games that have been coming out and then begin my editing. For my end result, I plan to complete the video and hopefully post it to public uh, social platform like YouTube for everyone to have easy access and hopefully learn that by helping to support this line of work and see why it's necessary. What I hope to deliver from this is that by creating this video, I give everybody who has no knowledge of the gaming industry to understand video games is not an easy job to do but also to understand that the state of the employee's health is a reflection of the quality of the games they put out. It's also to help understand by continuing crunch culture, we are supporting a practice that constricts game developers from creating good quality games. Thank you for listening and any questions.